What's up guys, Cloud City Hookah again, bringing you a review, this time on the Namor washable hose. I picked it up on Hookah Dash Shisha fairly cheap, and I told you guys I was going to do the Beast hose next, uh, the KM Beast Signature Series hose, and <laughs> that was actually my favorite hose I've ever smoked out of, the best bore, the best smoke. Uh, it had a couple issues, I'll do an actual review once I get a new one, because I was swinging mine to get the water out of it one day, wasn't paying attention, hit the floor with it. The piece that plugged into my hookah actually snapped off. It broke in half. And uh, I couldn't even super glue it or nothing. So I might have to order me another one, guys, and start smoking it to get the taste out of it. And then I'll bring you an actual review on that and not get lazy and smoke out of it for a couple of weeks and break it again. So today I got an Amore hose. Uh, just got a few weeks ago. Just got the taste out of it. And that's the worst part about this hose. My girlfriend got a blue one. I got her. And both the black one and the blue one, I cannot get the taste out to save my life. It gave me headaches, couldn't taste my hookah at all. Uh, I washed it out with, I think, 90, 90% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, ran through lemon juice. I had to do that twice, and finally I got the taste out of it where I could smoke it and not taste anything other than the flavor of the shisha. Now, uh, other than that, I love this hose just because it is so washable. What I do is I just take the tip out. This is one of the only hoses I believe that allows you to do that. It's from Namor. And I just stick a funnel right in the tip of the hose. And I, I usually let it just run in my sink while I'm making my other rest of my hookah. Like, I'll pack the bowl while my, my hose is getting clean. And I love that because it's so much less work to do. And I don't get water that stays up in here nothing. Because on the beast hose, like, the water would actually sit in here. And I wouldn't be able to get it out. I'd have to shake it really hard, spling it, and I still have some in there. So on the Namor hose, I don't have that problem. You just run lemon, through, lemon juice through it, and it's completely fine. It's entirely washable. It's probably the most affordable, practical hose to own to where it's it's just maintenance-free. Like, you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting wet. You don't have to worry about washing it all the time. It's not going to ghost really bad. It's just a really good hose. And the pool, it's got a pretty good-sized bore to it. There's not much um, resistance at all, so it's actually a pretty good hitting hose. No resistance. It's not as good as the Beast Hose because the bore is going to be slightly bigger on the Beast Hose. But again, this isn't the review on the Beast Hose, it's the Namor Hose. And this is definitely, definitely top notch on the, the hitting Like, I'm not complaining, and you cannot get a better bang for your buck on this hose. Uh, it's really affordable. Just uh, click the link below, and it sends you to the site where they sell them. And uh, if you want any other hookah supplies, pick them up while you're there. And thank you guys again for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, and I'll post some later videos for you. And just comment and tell me what you think about them.